Welcome to the Clyde May Realty Showcase. I'm Christine Tarani. I work out of the Waynesboro office. And if you see a property or a home today that you are interested in, please give one of our offices a call. Thank you to our sponsors and enjoy the show. People who are from Elkton, they have a lot to offer for us locals and for people who come visit the area. So we're here at Ciro's, just one of my favorite places. My family and I, we really love all the restaurants here, from Goodfellas to El Paso's, best Mexican restaurant in town, to the old 33 hamburger joint. The brewery, there's great places to meet clients here in Elkton. Elkton is in a very cool location. It's right next to the National Park. Massanutten Resort being very close, so we have a lot of people that come in town. A lot of businesses, a lot of shops in the downtown area. One of them is the Thrift at Heart. They're a local thrift store sponsored by EAUS, our local nonprofit. Right, we have another thrift store called Steadfast Vintage. We have two boutiques, Hen House and With My Soul Boutique. They are great little shops for the ladies. One of the new things we have is the new farmer's market that started construction a month or so ago with their groundbreaking ceremony. They're going to have a stage there too where they can have some performers. That'll really be nice. Elkton is such a great place. Great people, great community. It's a very tight-knit community that really supports its own. Hi, Summer. It is so good to see you again. And we got Trinity with us today. We do. Thanks for coming out, Paul. This is Trinity. <laughs> and she is a 10-month-old pit bull looking for a home. As you can see, she's got lots of uh, puppy energy. <laughs> she loves people. <laughs> and she actually likes cats. She'd love to run around the backyard with some kids. And if she holds still long enough, we will see that Trinity is actually missing one back leg. Doesn't seem to be slowing her down one bit though, does it? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, she is ready for a home, an active home. She's very social. And one of the things that we pride ourselves on here is really the adoption matchmaking process. So we do really try to speak with our adopters about what it is their lifestyle looks like, what's most important to them in a pet, 
and then kind of match them up with what we have here that would fit in pretty seamlessly. Now she's she's starting to calm mm -hmm. down pretty quickly. She'll definitely be one of those dogs that's really excited first thing in the morning. She enjoys her morning walks. And then I think by the afternoon, she'll kind of be a couch potato. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Yeah, somebody does choose to adopt. What kind of support, what comes with that package? Everybody who is adopted from us is already spayed or neutered. They have all their age appropriate vaccines. They've been dewormed, flea treated and microchipped. And then we do check-ins at day three, week three and month three, just to make sure that everything is going well, medically and behaviorally something does come up we have behavior resources available well that's wonderful so we have another pet that we get to meet all right paul this is nike hi this nike is the other dog we're going to spend some time with today oh my goodness <laughs> and nike came to us as a stray that was not reclaimed and then went up for adoption and she is a weimer on her mix and this girl actually really loves kids uh she loves cats and she likes other dogs and she actually keeps a clean kennel, so that's a good indicator that she might have some house training skills as well. What would be the best kind of home for Nike here? I would say a medium energy household. Okay. And she would love, love, love to have some kids to run around with. When somebody sees and falls in love with either one of these two dogs, what's the process for adoption? They can go to our website, which is rhspca.org, and click on the Adopt tab. They'll find the little photo of the animal they're interested in, and they can submit the application from there. They're also welcome to come in person, and we have staff that can walk them through that process. Well, Summer, thank you so much for letting me spend some time and play with <laughs> Nike and Trinity. Yes, thank you so much for all your support, Paul. You're very welcome. Hi, I'm Carl Weisecker, Principal Broker with Klein May Realty. Thanks for joining me for another Q&A with Klein May. If you're a frequent watcher, you'll notice that this is not my office. We're starting a new trend today with one week of the month, not every week, but one week out of the month, we'll be visiting one of the great coffee shops here in Rockingham or Augusta County. Today, we're gonna make it a little bit of a mystery. I'm not gonna tell you where I am. You'll have to tune in next week for that reveal. Our question today, is about the Realtor Association. What is a Realtor? The National Association of Realtors has been in the news recently. And we've gotten some questions about what is a Realtor? Are all sales agents Realtors? And the answer to that question is no. 
In Virginia, there are two kinds of real estate licenses, a salesperson's license or a broker's license. The holder of either of those type of licenses can sell real estate in Virginia. The Realtor Association is a trade group of sales agents who have come together to advocate for property rights and to provide an organized and ethical way of doing business. It's really a three-part system. At the top is the National Association of Realtors. That group came into existence over 100 years ago. They established a code of ethics, so that kind of made sure everybody was playing by the same set of rules and that buyers and sellers were protected. And they advocated for issues largely around property rights and the fair transfer of property. Then we have the State Association, which provides us with a lot of things kind of on the legal and education side. They provide us with all the contract forms that we use. They have a legal hotline we can call if we need advice, and they provide us with tons of good education. In addition to that, some advocacy in the General Assembly. We also have on the local level our local association of realtors, which provides education, advocacy, outreach in our local community, and very importantly, runs our multiple listing service, which is the database of homes that are being bought or sold. So all of those together form kind of the three level Realtor Association. Most folks in our area, Rockingham and Augusta County, are members of the local Realtor Association, which means they're also members of the state and the national group. There are some parts of our state, Tidewater for example, uh, where it's about a 50-50 mix. So that's kind of a quick overview of the three level Realtor Association. Our coffee today, and again I'm not going to reveal where we are, I can tell you that this came from Chestnut Ridge Roasters uh, and is of Mexican origin. Very, very smooth. That's really good. It would be a great breakfast coffee. As always, if you've got a coffee you'd like to see me try here, if you've got a real estate question for me, please send that to questions at climbmay.com. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Life's next steps begin with a mortgage from DuPont Community Credit Union. Whether you're looking to purchase or refinance a home, DCCU has fixed and adjustable rate mortgage options with mortgage advisors ready to help find the best option for your family. And now with our new 5-5 adjustable rate mortgage, you can receive the benefits of an adjustable rate loan with an initial rate for the first five years. Take the next step in your home buying journey today at mydccu.com.
We all want to give our kids the best of everything, the best nutrition, the best education, and the best place to grow up, even the air they breathe. Lennox strives to provide the best air quality for your family's home free of indoor air pollutants. At Landis Heating and Air Conditioning, they can install a Lennox customized comfort system in your home. Let Landis sweat the details so you can relax in comfort. Call my friends at Landis Heating and Air Conditioning today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Thank you.
Good morning, this is Keenan Moore with Climay Realty. I am happy to be here this morning with Gail Brunk, the Executive Director of an organization called Vail. We are here this morning attending the second annual Vail Invitational Wheelchair Basketball Tournament. Gail, why don't you tell us a little about Vail and the basketball tournament? Vail stands for Valley Associates for Independent Living. We're a very unique nonprofit in that a minimum of 51% of our board and our staff must be individuals with a lived experience. So the people that we are providing service to have representation both at our staff level and at our board level to direct our programs. We are what's called a Center for Independent Living. That means non-residential, meeting people where they are in the community to remove barriers and increase independence in the community. Two years ago, Vail acquired the Harrisonburg Cardinals that are now known as the Vail Harrisonburg Cardinals wheelchair basketball team and they compete nationally. And so we host our practices here at Horizons Edge Sports Complex every Thursday night, and the team travels during a regular basketball season and plays against other teams. And today we are playing against three other teams. All four teams are ranked in the top 20 in the entire nation. It's a wonderful experience and opportunity to see individuals with what we call lower limb disabilities, permanent lower limb disabilities, whether that be amputations or paralysis, playing competitively, building camaraderie, the social and peer support that comes as a result of this program is just phenomenal. Wow, boy, that, that's a great service, and I'm sure that the community and the players appreciate you guys. Well, we are very blessed by the players as well as them by us, by the partnership that we've developed with them. And we're pulling players from all of our service area. So we serve Harrisonburg, Rockingham, Stanton, Augusta, Waynesboro. We pull players from all over and sometimes out of our area because there isn't an adaptive sports program in their community and they have found us. Great. Well, I just want you to know that I appreciate you and what Vail and your staff does. And I think that Harrisonburg and Rockingham County are very fortunate to have an organization like yours. Well, and Keenan, I thank you. And I thank you for your service to Vail as a board member and your ongoing support to us over the years. Really appreciate this opportunity to share more about what we do.
my voice went up. <laughs> I think that sounded good. Do you want to try it again? Yes. We hope you enjoyed our show. Thank you to our sponsors. And we hope to see you again next week. <laughs>